We got some Detroit Lions breaking news, and we got the latest news and rumors regarding our Detroit Lions, some trade rumors, candidates. Could the Lions look to acquire talent from other teams? Free agency, what is the latest there, and DJ Chark. But before we get into today's video, if you are not a subscriber to my channel and you're a Lions fan, I say, why the hell are you not? Why? Because I do all things Detroit Lions news and rumors, and I keep you up to date. Without further ado, let's get this thing going. The Detroit Lions did a signing right now for the backup quarterback position. We had speculation, who could the Lions be? Could it be Teddy Bridgewater? Could it be a Carson Wentz? Nope! It is Nate Sudfield is back with the Detroit Lions to back up Jared Goff. The terms of his contract is not known yet, but I fully expect it to be absolutely cheap. Booty cheeks cheap because he's not a big name at all. He's familiar with the Lions offense. Brad Holmes trusts him, I guess, for backup too. And the offense is kind of the same for the quarterback room. What does this mean? It means to me the Detroit Lions are absolutely drafting a quarterback in the 2023 NFL Draft. Don't know what round it will be, but I fully expect them to look in the draft to get a young developmental player because Sudfell is cheap and they'll be able to afford a quarterback in the draft, whether it be early or late in the draft. Doesn't really matter. They'll have that option there to have that backup role. Let me know in the comments section right now. Grade this signing. A, B, C, D, or F. Let me know your grade of Nate Sudfield coming back to the Detroit Lions. Let's continue on here. We're going to go over some Lions trade rumors. Two players. We're going to go over a mock draft. We're going to go over free agency update and DJ Chark. Let's go ahead and start with this free agent rumor from Yard Barker. They're wanting us to get Cortland Sutton. They say like most of the Denver Broncos teammates on offense struggled in 2022, but this year's crop of free agents and draft prospects don't have that many players capable of filling the X receiver spot in offense, which Sutton is capable of doing. That would be the role chart filled with the Lions last season. Remain open unless they plan on deploying Williams there. Regardless, upgrading the unit with a third capable receiver of Sutton's caliber would be a good idea. Now, let's, let's see. What do they want in the trade? What the Lions have to give up? Well, per yard Barker, they said they'd be giving up the Detroit Lions second round pick. Pick 55 for wide receiver Cortland Sutton. That is a high draft pick for this player. Is he worth it? Well, if you look at his stats last year, he played in 15 games, 64 receptions, 829 yards, and two touchdowns. You say, Mike, that is not that great. I concur, it is not. Russell Wilson was a quarterback, though, and they did have a terrible head coach. Career-wise, he is a player. He plays in all the games, 65 there, 239 receptions for 3,487 yards and 14 touchdowns. It's not all about stats. It's all about salary as well because, look, any player could have the greatest stats in the world, but if you can't afford them, it's booty cheeks. So what is a salary? What would it be? For Cortland Sutton, his base salary is $14 million. Cap hit is $18.2 million right there. That's a S ton of money. And he's, But he is 27 years old, five years experience. You're going to have to pay up to get a Cortland Sutton. You're going to have to give up some money to get this guy. So personally... My thoughts on Cortland Sutton here is no, I don't think the Detroit Lions would go this route at all because his production does not match the money he is making. Yes, we can afford it with the cap that we currently have. We do. We definitely can. But why not, if you're going to get a wide receiver, why don't you just draft one who is younger and, and has a higher ceiling? You can go other routes in free agency like re-sign DJ Chark or there's other receivers as well on the market that you can acquire to help out this team. I think there's better options to do there. So no hell to the na na in trading for Cortland Sutton. Another player that is on the trade market that we've heard rumors around the Detroit Lions having is Ed Oliver, the defensive tackle here. 
Yes, he has been in the noise for rumors for trades for multiple teams, Chicago Bears and the Detroit Lions, and a firestorm hit up after the Instagram photos of him sacking the NFC North quarterbacks, including our beloved Detroit Lions. The Lions did make some cap space over the last day, so it is speculated. Did the Detroit Lions do this? Because they're wanting to sign a big name like a Ed Oliver. That potentially could uh, that potentially could be realistic. A big move. Not necessarily trading for an Ed Oliver, but it does make sense if you're freeing up cap space to get this done. Ed Oliver, he's young. He's only 25 years old. 6'2", 287, interior defensive lineman. Exactly what the Lions are missing. But you're going to have to pay this man because... He is on the the last year of his rookie deal. The guy wants to get paid, and he let it known he wants that money, money, money for sure. What is his stats, though, this past year and career-wise? Well, for this year, he played in 13 games, only two and a half sacks, one forced fumble, and 20 solo tackles. Career-wise, it's not bad at 62, 14.5 sacks, four and solo of 96. I think that Ed Oliver is a very good player. Is he the top tier defensive tackle? No, he's he's not. He, he he's not the you know an Indomitian Sioux type. He's not a a player of that caliber. But he's good. He's absolutely good. I probably give him you know between I don't know, twelve to fifteen interior defensive linemen, and the the Lions have the ability to get better at the interior defensive line. But I say. Pass. Why is that? Because you're probably going to have to give up a second round pick or a third round pick. But, but that is not just all right there. What do you think? Would you guys trade for Ed Oliver? Why for yes and and for no? Let that be the a pinned comment for this video. I'm curious to see what you think on this one for sure. Let's continue on here. The Detroit Lions are still waiting on information on DJ Chark. So, again, it's still the exact same right now. The Lions and DJ Chark and Carolina Panthers. It's the three teams. That is what's going on here with DJ Chark. Nothing yet is known what he is going to do. And we're still in Chark week, and it sucks. But it is what it is. As soon as something happens, though, I'm going to let you guys know, but right now, nothing has happened. That's why you got to hit that notification bell, because it could happen at any time. It really could. Let's go ahead and talk about Lions Wire Mock Draft. This is with all the beat writers of each team. So each team beat writer did their team, and then we had the Detroit Lions selection here. So who did the Lions get at 6 and 18 from the Lions Wire Mock Draft? Well, the first player here was Tyree Wilson, Texas. Tech falling to the Detroit Lions at six. It makes a lot of sense, though, because you do want the defensive line. If you're going to stay there, it's probably going to be a guy that hits the quarterback. Now, a lot of people say well, Jalen Carter potentially. Look, if he's there, I just don't think the Lions get him. But it may be possible. But I do think a realistic would be a tie. Re Wilson can help stop the run. He he can keep the edges on there, and uh, you know upgrading the defensive line. You can have never have enough pass ru- pass pass rushers for a football team. An interesting player here at 18 was Deontay Banks from Maryland. We did upgrade the secondary quite a bit this free agency with C.J. Gardner Johnson as well as Emmanuel Mosley and of course Cameron Sutton. So the idea of getting another cornerback would have to spell the end of Jeffrey Akuda. But if you do look in 2024 and beyond, we don't have that many cornerbacks under contract. We don't. We just don't have that. So like C.J. Gardner is a one-year deal. You have Emmanuel Moses is a one-year deal. Jeffrey Akuda probably won't be on the team because you wouldn't be picking up his fifth-year option. You'd have, I think, Jerry Jacobs and Cameron Sutton. And the draft pick, I think, of the sixth round or seventh round last year, Chase Lucas. So by getting the Deontay Banks, it does help out for the 2024 position and making his strength stronger for our Detroit Lions. So, look, I think when I I look at this, 
I'm going to give this a B grade. I personally would like to trade down. I don't know if they allowed the trades in this mock draft. It did not say. I would like to trade down for six or trade up and get a Will Anderson personally. And 18, in all honesty, I would probably pass on the cornerback position. I would. I would go with something more of a need. I get it. Understand it for 2024. But for me, I want to see the Lions upgrade other positions that I think may be more of a need that you can get in there and make an impact for 2023. Because I just don't think he would be getting a lot of reps with the starters there. So that's my personal opinion. Maybe someone like a Bijan Robinson, again, someone that would give you production immediately. I know a lot of people don't like getting a running back. An offensive lineman maybe even better because we don't know what's going on with the future of Halapluti Vati Vita. He's always injured. And do you trust Graham Glasgow? So you can go like an Osiris Torrance. Uh, wide receiver Quentin Johnston, if TJ Chark doesn't come back, I think that would be more useful for the Detroit Lions. There's plenty of options there. But grade the mock draft from Lions Wire A, B, C, D, or F. Let me know your grades in the comments below. Folks, we got a lot of videos coming on this channel. A lot. We got videos tomorrow, and we got breaking news. Waiting was still DJ Chark Week. At Chark Week, we're waiting to know what the hell is going on there. We finally got our backup quarterback position. Once we know what's going on with wide receiver, it will be good to go. So make sure you guys hit that notification bell. Also, the One Pride Podcast is live every single Thursday. And you don't want to miss out on the latest news and rumors regarding our Detroit Lions.